Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning how to register for the conference. We're going to see how simple it is and the various steps we need to follow, both as SBL and non SBL members. So we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing we want to do is to go to the main SBL website www.mbasbl.org. Now go to that website, then you click on the first link that says follow here to register now. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the conference website where you can start your registration process. Now, as you you can do everything on the website, but that's not why we're here. So we're just going to go straight to this button here to so click to register, or we click on this one right here to register. Right then, we it takes us to the same place. So once we do that, we come to this point where we have different ticket categories for the conference. Now we have for virtual and we have for physical. What we're seeing right here is for physical and what we're seeing here is for virtual. So say we want to register as a member of the SBL, say as a junior lawyer or as, um, as a senior lawyer depending on the situation. So we may have to, very importantly, know our SBL number before we proceed. So it is very key for us to know that if we do not have our SBL number, as SBL members, we will not be able to benefit from the membership registration. So if you don't have your SBL number handy, there are two ways to get your numbers or your SBL number. First is you go to your, your SBL profile, which is at www.portal.mbsbl.org forward slash login. Now you're taken to this page where you have to enter your email address and your password. If you don't remember your password, you just click on this link to that says forget password and you would. Uh, require to enter your email address so that you can reset your password. Now, once you do that, then you'll be taken to this page where you see your SBL number. Now, this is the number right here. So all you just have to do is copy the number. You copy it and then we go straight to what we're doing. Now we're going to register this member as a senior lawyer and we click on this link. Please note that if you're unable to get your SBL number from your login or you're unable to retrieve your password, you could simply call the SBL secretariat um, using the number on the screen to assist you get your SBL number. You could also do well to read instructions here as you can see and it will guide you on how to register for the conference. So right here we see uh, this field that says enter your SBL number to proceed. So we would need to put the provide that SBL number we copied. And also take note that you have your registration number for the conference. So this number is very important for you to log in afterwards and also during uh, the conference. So we're just going to paste that number here and press the top key on our keyboard or at some point you could just click anywhere on your screen and the other information or details about this person will populate. As you can see, his name is out already, his year of call and of course his email address. Now, there are instances where this may not happen even if you put the right SBL number. It may be that you're not in the right category or 
you have not paid your membership dues for the year so if it is any of those you may have well um, go back to first of all go back to the previous page to get to the right category that means maybe as a junior lawyer or as a senior lawyer depending on where you are and if you have not paid your SBO membership for the year then you would have to go back to your profile and click to pay or you can pay via at the SBO designated bank account and reach out to the secretary for manual activation of your account now that that is out of the way so we're just going to proceed with information of this person let's say this is his phone number one two three four five six eight and um his firm name of course works with the mbsbl now see the ticket cost for this person has come out so already know what we're paying if we proceed to payment so once we do this we click on proceed to payment now this right here was deliberately done so that you know in case you have tried to register before now you'd see this error this shows that you have attempted to register on the portal and you did not complete your registration maybe your payment was declined or the transaction was not successful so in that case you will have to reach out to the SBO secretariat on how to sort this out especially to refresh your record and resync your information to the conference website so we'll just quickly go get this done and we'll come back to sorting it out Okay, and we are back. So that has been sorted and we will have to refresh our page so that we'll be able to continue. If you don't refresh your page, you still encounter the same error. So refresh your page so the browser recognizes the fact that you have gotten a new function. So we'll do this again and this time have the records populate. We just put in the phone number as we had, we put in the firm name, and we click to proceed. So we do that then we're taken to this page so as you can see here this could be the reason why most of us were not or could not proceed to payment because when we get to this point it's either we stop we don't proceed further or our payments are declined or transaction did not go through so we have to make sure that this part goes through successfully. So, be sure to enter your email address as it is in the previous page. And then you click pay. Now, when you get to this point, this is the most critical part of the website or the payment system. Here it tells you where you put your card details, and this card number involves the it has to do with the long um, digits on your card. Could be 16 digit, could be 14 digits, depending on the number of the kind of card you do have. So in most cases, Mastercard and maybe Visa do have 16 digit numbers. So you have to just repeat that right there. Once you do that, put your validity date and put the CVV number. This is the number behind the card. In most cases, it's always three digits. So you just get it. You flip the card over and you get you get the number. 
once you do that you click post pay the amount now in some cases you may not be privy to pay with your card so what would you do now some people prefer to pay with ussd which most of us are comfortable with so all you just have to do is to click on this pay with ussd you choose your bank the exact bank you want um fortunately not all banks are supported at this point so what if your bank is supported what you just do is to choose your bank and once you choose your bank you'll be given the exact code to dial and you're good to go once you dial the code and you pay the process will automatically be detected and it will proceed to acknowledging your payment now ussd may still not be convenient for others so we can do uh, pay with our bank now this involves you instructing your bank to make the payment for you maybe if you're a wire transfer or some sort of bank transaction that you may have agreed with your bank prior to this time so in most cases this is not a feasible option but for those who can you you can you may go ahead and use it but if you know you're not sure of it you would rather you use other options available uh, at this point which takes us to the next one as the bank transfer and this is one of the easiest means to pay because we normally do bank transfers on a daily now this one says failed uh, in most cases this is because of network but once it comes out you're supposed to see the bank name and the exact bank account number you're supposed to pay to now that is very that is dynamic so you will have to make sure that you, you you don't pay to any other bank account it has to be a bank account that is shown on the screen for you to make the payment because if you don't make the payment to that exact bank account you will be paying to someone else which is not for the MBSBL conference so be very careful to make the payment according to what you see on the screen because this information that is generated is dynamic and it changes with time so if you are not comfortable still with bank transfer for those of us who know what uh, barter payment is by flutter wave you can use that method and pay by barter all we just have to do is click to proceed and go to our barter app and initiate payment and come back here and we do all we need to do the last one is pay with pay attitude this is a new one so most people are not conversant with this method so we may have to just skip explaining it so once your payment is done once you do everything that you need to do you will be shown this page as a way of conclusion you'll be shown this page as a way of indicating that you have successfully made your payment so once the payment is done this is the page you will land on showing that you have made payment successfully now this is for um this is for um, those who are paying or buying the ticket as members of the mbsbl and that is for just um senior lawyers the process works same way for junior lawyers all you simply have to do is make sure that you click in the right category and you are imputing your SBL number correctly and not going to the wrong category. So once you are in the right category, you click and you put all you just have to do is you press the tab key on your keyboard or you click anywhere on your screen and the details will populate accordingly. And please note that if 
you are not able to make payment using this form uh, as, a, as a member of the SBL kindly kindly go kindly revert or kindly call the SBL secretariat for assistance now for those who are not SBL members we have categories we have three separate categories for that we have the junior lawyers non-SBL we have senior lawyers non-SBL we have non-lawyers who are the professionals so say we are doing for um, junior lawyers who are non-SBL all we need to do is make sure that we provide a name for our records and phone number As you can see, the button to proceed is not out yet. This will only come out once you enter your year of call. So to be able to detect the exact um, uh, category you are on, this field has to be entered. So once it's correctly entered, say this person is called 2006, press the tab key, you find that the proceed to keep, uh, payment appears, including the amount he's supposed to pay for. And once you do that, of course, you just click and proceed to payment as we did previously, and enter details and, of course, proceed to where you put your card information. Now, that is for payment for. Uh, for non SBL members who are junior lawyers, same thing works for senior lawyers as well. And uh, all you just have to do is repeat the same process, but this time you must be a senior lawyer. Then, for non lawyers who are other professionals, uh, it somewhat looks the same, but this case. You just have to put your designation, um, the position in your office, the firm where you belong to, and um, you just click to proceed and payment is done the same way. So we made this very seamless so that everyone will be able to register for the conference without having any glitch. Now you could go straight to the virtual ticket in case you're not able to attend the conference physically and make a purchase for any of this um, virtual tickets. We still have uh, discounts for SBO members who are junior lawyers, discounts for SBO members who are senior lawyers, and so on and so forth. So all of this will help you to be able to register for the conference and attend accordingly register for the conference and attend on a set date. So we're just going to go back and ensure that we are on the right page. So at this point, it is very key for you to note that when you are unable to get your SBO number you should please contact the SBO Secretariat for assistance or you could just log into your SBO profile and get your SBO number. And do note that if you are entering your SBO number and it's not providing you with or populating your records, it is either that this payment category is not for you as the case may be or you're yet to pay your membership for the year 2022. Uh, a third factor could be that you are entering the wrong SBO number, which is also a possibility. So if you enter the wrong SBO number, then you may most likely not see your records. Or you will definitely not see your records because this category 
does not belong to you and also the number is not in our database so um, that is about it for registration for the conference and we believe that uh, this process is is supposed to help you uh, go through the website and uh, use it comfortably without any issue on the way now please note that as you can see on the main website there is a login button which is going to be activated in the coming weeks this button will enable you to log into your SBO profile to your uh, conference profile to be able to get um, the perks that comes with registration such as booking CAC clinic session um, getting hotel discounts um, buying uh, dinner tickets for the opening mm -hmm. the day of the conference and um, also streaming the, the event live while we are on the ground or streaming the event live from your mobile device or any other device of your choice so this and many more are the are the perks that comes with or the benefits that comes with registering for this year's conference we will also let you know that once you register for the conference the sbl will issue you a verifiable receipt which you can go online and verify and also issue or provide which you could also provide to your uh, superiors to verify as well so um that 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 is all for now folks and we thank you very much thank you very much for your time and we believe that this conference come july 20th to 22nd be one to reckon with. Thank you and uh, have a very, very good one.